Good morning. It's Cole Chance here to help you wake up and start your day off right. I um, want to let you know a couple things real quick that new Tuesdays, new videos Tuesdays are starting again, so make sure to subscribe. And also, I'm starting a newsletter. And if you sign up for that on our website, yogatx.org, then you'll get uh, special memos and exciting things from me every month. But now getting on to getting your day started right, let's go ahead and lay down on our mats because that's how we're all really feeling. So go ahead and lay on your mat and let's bend your knees. Keep your feet wide and bend have your knees touching. You can just have your palms face up. Roll the shoulders on your back and just start to breathe. Or start to notice your breath. You should already be breathing. Let's start to notice it and deepen it. And start to move your knees to the right so kind of a windshield wiper and then pick them up and move them over to the left. This is just kind of waking up the low back over to the right and the sacral area and to the left. Another round. Knees up towards the ceiling. Bring the feet in now about hips distance and maybe in a little closer to your bum. And we're going to just do some spinal rolls and we're gonna start moving the pelvis first. So we're just gonna wake up the spine. So to start, I'm going to start to tilt my pelvis, the bottom of my pelvis up so my low back is coming to the ground. Starts to move up. Lifting the hips, slowly coming up the spine. And then exhale, I'll start with the top of the spine and start to come down. So low back touches, sacrum touches, and then tilts forward. Inhale, reverse it. And exhale, coming back out. So one more round. Bring the knees into the chest. Going to hold them in and rock side to side. And instead of thinking what you need to do today and thinking about the list of things and the stresses, think about how you want to feel today. So maybe think of an intention of how you want your day to go. You want to feel productive or you want to feel happy rather than the to-do list. So think of that intention. And breathe it in. And let it go. And this time let's stretch long from fingers to toes and maybe wiggle them both. And then back in and let's kind of rock and roll up on the spine, maybe take two or three. And we'll come into cat and cow, into tabletop position. Let's go ahead and do whatever you need to roll there. We'll have the shoulders over the wrist, the hips over the knees, and most of the weight going in this L shape here. So make sure that you're not kind of rolling to the outside going to be safer and you'll have more a better base on this L shape. So again starting with the pelvis let's tuck the pelvis down so as if you were moving your tailbone towards your spine or I mean towards your belly button. Pull everything up and push the ground away and then inhale move the tail towards the ceiling drop the belly pull the chest through and gaze up. 
Exhale, reverse. And do two more rounds with your own breath. Again, waking up the spine, moving the tailbone first, and letting that snake your spine. Good. Let's tuck the toes, move the hands up a little bit, and we'll push into downward dog. So here, well, let's wake up the hamstrings. They get so tight every night. So stepping through the heels, bending one knee and then the other. So generous bends. Let's bring both the heels up, so onto your toes, and pull them both down to the right. We're just kind of spinning the hips, I mean, sorry, to the left. And then let's come back up, heels up, and then both heels down to the right, pushing the ground away. One more time, inhale up, to the left, and come up, and to the right. Gaze towards your hands and we'll walk up to the top of the mat. Let's inhale, halfway lift. So fingers either on the ground or probably on your shins. I'm pressing my shins into my hands at the same time I'm pressing my hands into my shins. My knees are bent at least a little bit. And I'm growing really long from the crown of my head to the tailbone. And let it all out. One more time. Inhale, halfway lift. Kind of have cobra in your back. Belly in. And exhale, fold. And let's slowly rock all the way up. So bending the knees, hanging the torso heavy. Arms heavy like you have no bones from the waist up. And slowly start to roll up. Hmm. All right. So hands at heart center, find your base. Spread your toes wide. Hands to heart center, let's just inhale. And let it go. Again, think of that intention. Inside out. This time let's inhale, hands lift, gaze up, touch the hands together, and exhale with wide arms, tilt, tip over to the right. Inhale, lift, and tip over to the left. Inhale, up. Cactus the arms, send the hips forward, open the heart, and inhale up. And this time, let's bend the knees and bow forward, opening up the hamstrings. Drop the head. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. So this time, right hand to the ground, bend the right knee, and open up the left arm to the side. Inhale. And drop it down. And we'll do that on the other side. So bend the left knee, open the right arm. And drop it down. Again, inhale, halfway lift. Sink. And rise all the way up. And hands to heart center. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale, lift. And side body to the left. Inhale, up. Open the heart, send the hips forward and up, and then send it all the way down, bending the knees, 
planting the hands on the ground or towards the ground. Then to the shins, push the shins away, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the right hand, bend the right knee as you open to the left. And exhale, center. And we open to the right. And center. Halfway lift. And down. And this time, let's take a step back with the right foot and drop the right knee. So scissoring the thighs together here as you're kind of sinking in and making sure that you're keeping everything towards center. So imagine squeezing towards center. Let's go ahead and take an inhale and come up. And hands wide. So let's keep the arms wide so we leave space for the neck. Just inhale here and then exhale. See if you can sink in half an inch deeper. And inhale, lift. And then exhale, sink. And one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, sink. And drop your hands to the earth. Straighten the front leg. So half Hanumanasana, really opening up that hamstring here. So you don't have to fold forward here. You can stay up and think about tilting your tailbone up towards the sky and that'll really light that up. So the knee can be bent. It can start to go towards straight wherever you feel. So we're just breathing here. So we're waking up the spine. We started to open up the side body. Now we're just getting into the legs a little bit. Take another inhale and exhale. Come back into the bend. Let's take one more. Inhale up, wide arms, chest forward, heart forward. Hands to heart center. And just take a little twist here. Inhale. Release. One more inhale up. Heart forward and exhale, hands to the earth. Lift the back leg and we'll take a big step up. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Maybe one side of the body is feeling a little more awake. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. So let's wake up the other side and step back with the left foot and drop the back knee. As you settle in, start to draw everything towards center, bringing the right hip back and the left hip forward. If you do have blocks, this is a good place for blocks, especially in the morning. So really nice, they're really nice props. If you have some, it's a good suggestion. But let's scissor the thighs together when you're feeling sturdy. Let's come up on an inhale. And exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, lift. And exhale, sink. And one more time. Inhale, lift. And exhale, sink. Bring the hands to the earth. Straighten the front leg. You can keep these toes turned here, turned under in the back. So you can have the knee bent in the front. But try to stay up and long in your back. And if you need more of a sensation, try tilting your tailbone up towards the sky. And that'll light that up. Another inhale. Mm, let's come forward. Hands up, inhale, heart forward. Exhale, hands to heart center, and let's take a twist to the right. So elbows up and over, pushing into the knee. If it feels okay for your neck, gazing back, or maybe you gaze down at the left elbow. Inhale here. Let it out. And then inhale, slowly come back to center. One more time, heart open, maybe the biggest 
reach out and hands to earth. Straighten the back leg. We'll jump up towards the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift one more time and exhale, fold. And go ahead and bend down into the knees and we'll come to seated for a moment. So just sit cross-legged. Maybe pull the fleshy part, the bum out. Tilt your pelvis forward. Place your hands on your knees and close your eyes. And feel any sensations, vibrations going on in your body. Any prana or is also called life force that's moving around, energy. And just notice and breathe. If we can give ourselves the space in the morning, even 10, 15 minutes, just a little bit of moving, trying to move in all directions. Right when we get up, it's amazing the way it shifts our day. So I encourage you to carve out a little bit of time and maybe that keeps growing as you see the benefit. You can keep the eyes closed here, but let's inhale, arms up, tilt the head up, and exhale, hands to heart center. We're just gonna take a gentle twist on this next one. So inhale, arms up, and exhale. Let's twist over to the right. So the left hand on the left knee and the right hand behind to twist around. Inhale, grow tall, and exhale, twist one more time. Coming back to center, inhale up, and exhale, let's twist to the left. And grow tall, and twist around. And inhale, come back to center. Hands to heart center. And thank yourself for showing up on your mat this morning. And I hope you have a beautiful day. You have started it right. Namaste. Thank you all. Let me know how this works for you. I haven't heard anybody say that they have a worse day when they do a little bit of yoga in the morning. But again, thanks for joining us here. We have lots of um, new videos, new ideas coming out. And like us on Facebook. Our Instagram account is at YogaTX. And we love your questions, comments, suggestions. We're filming this for you. And until next time, cold chance at YogaTX. Your knees here and sit your hips back. We'll walk our arms out. And your hips may not come all the way down. You may be more like this, and that's fine, too. It's so whatever feels good to you. But walk your fingertips out so we're opening up underneath this. Underneath your armpit.